what is going on with your youtube this is regular dave coming at you with another video yes yeah, some more matt and 16 info had hands-on gameplay man and i got to play or at least look at i'll tell you guys exactly what happened um the best mode i've seen added to madden probably ever this mode is the most intriguing thing um for madden now if you guys watched my last video on madden i said it's the same old madden if you guys really want me to explain what i mean go ahead and pound that like button if enough people want me to just go in depth of what i mean by that um go ahead and hit the like button if i see an abnormal amount of likes i will make a video explaining myself but let me talk about this um new fresh mode called draft champions and basically the, the best way for me to explain it is for the this is geared for the people that don't want to get involved with mutt and start spending money on packs and start getting players that play abnormal and playing against these overpowered teams well they've come up with a way to combat that uh, it's called draft champions let's talk about it all right let me give you the concept basically you're it, it's like a daily fantasy draft um if you guys ever mess with FanDuel or DraftKings, it kind of works the same way except for you don't have money you have choices you have um options on the table and basically you need to make the right choice uh let me explain it all right man you always get three cards there's 15 rounds and you have to put together a team but the cards are so random that you don't know when uh certain players or certain positions are ever going to come back up so the first the first uh round is always your coach uh you pick your coach and that's basically what playbook you want to use that's a throwaway so you choose which best out of the three works for you then you get into the players that's where it gets difficult because they'll give you three pretty highly rated players so it might give you a quarterback a running back and a left tackle well you have to choose do you want to pick the best quarterback the best running back or the best left tackle now if you don't choose a quarterback you may not in the 15 rounds get a quarterback um, to choose from again so you'll be stuck with what you have and normally it's a player rated uh between like 70 65 just low rated players are already on your team so you have to really really make a gamble this game is all about this mode is all about gambling and the thing i really like about it is uh there's a rating for chemistry the type of team you're putting on putting up uh, putting together and overall um and that's the thing that i feel like is missing in ultimate team people put together these teams that are just so overpowered because they're paying money for these packs and ea sports cannot tell them that yo you pay money to get these players in these packs and you can't use them you can only use some stars that would stop people from paying money so it's not advantageous in ultimate team for ea to limit how overpowered somebody's team can be here they're telling you your team's only going to be so good put together the best team you have now when i was picking my team i was making decisions really man you gotta really track what you do because i ended up putting together a team they ended up 81 overall but my receiving core was so ass uh rated between 69 and 70 for every receiver on my team only because every time oh oh i'll, I'll give you another bit of information at the end but only every time a receiver came up there was a position that i myself found to be more important um and i picked that position and when i got to the end i looked i was like damn i didn't take any wide receivers so at the end of the 15 rounds the last round they give you a uh, option of some type of historic player or really good player uh, mine was like joe not historic but really good the best one on my option and it was a receiver i had to take that receiver because i looked at my receiver core and said damn i didn't have anybody i took joe horn um this mode is for the people that just hate having um want to play another mode don't want to get an ultimate team because you're really not for the idea of getting a player that's rated 99 overall because he has some special card um or just playing against teams that's just crazy overpowered to me this is what ultimate team should be but there's no with no money involved um i understand why ultimate team is what it is and it's purely because of the money people are spending on packs but this look and I, I don't really get excited about a lot but madden i'm like yeah, okay i'm gonna play online rank because i'm not gonna play ultimate team or i was starting uh to think about doing a franchise this year um which i'll probably still do but this mode definitely will be the first thing i dive into draft champions i don't i, I don't hype things up at all but 
for Madden, I really don't hype things up. I try not to. But this mode is refreshing, is new, and is definitely something I want to check out. All right, man. Get active in the comments. Spam the like button. I'll explain why I say Madden is the same old Madden. You know it's normally all about the gameplay, but this mode actually got me a little excited. All right. I'll get at you guys another time. Peace.